Hi everyone, I'm Sophia and I want to welcome you to Cast K Kids Online. Pastor Keith has a great Bible lesson for us. Let's get started. Thank you so much for that great introduction. And I'm so excited you guys are joining us at Cascade Kids today. We are continuing our series called Who Are They? Now, the reason we're calling it Who Are They? is these are people from the Bible whose names we don't know. But what we do know is they did awesome oh things. Oh my gosh. Ethan, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Pastor Keith, you're not going to believe this. Whoa, I whoa, tell whoa, you whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the middle of a lesson I, here. Uh, I see that, but you got to hear this. You're not going to believe this. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. So I, I saved up all my money to take my okay. best friend to his favorite restaurant for his birthday, right? That's nice. And hey, I, hey, can I be your best friend? Hey, yeah, you totally okay. can. Yeah, I'm going to get a new I'd one like to after go, this. Yeah. Okay. Well, what happened? So we're eating, you know, this meal and he loves it. And I take him back home and guess what? All night long, he never said thank you. Not even once. No, you no, guys. no. I have a story way better what? than that. Victoria, listen. I'm no, in no, the no. middle of a but lesson. I'm going to tell you what just happened. Oh, my I goodness. I took the entire day off, the entire day off, to take my sister to the amusement park. And do you know that she did not say thank you one time? Oh, One wow. time. No, thank you. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. I got an idea. I, I know you guys are a little upset right now, but why don't we play a game that I think might help you, Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. It's a game involving money that you guys get. How does that sound? I'm in. Now, yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and give each one of you a dollar. Oh. And that's yours to keep. Thank you. Now, you can choose to keep that dollar or you can trade it in. Now, here's what you're trading it for is a piece of paper. Now, I know you're looking at this piece of paper and you're thinking, what do I want a piece of paper for? Yeah. Well, two of these pieces of paper have nothing in it but one of them has a $20 bill taped to the inside. Oh, I want the $20 bill. If you get it, it's yours. Now, here's the only catch. When you give me your dollar back, it's mine. You can't take it back. So you can choose to give me your dollar back and go for the one, two, three pieces of paper, or you keep the dollar, walk away, and say, I'm keeping it. What's your choice? I'm going to spend it. Okay. And go for 20. All right. Victoria? I'm going to go for the 20. All right. She's going for the 22. Now, I'll even let y'all look in oh, okay. as you pick. Okay. So you can see the three. Ethan's going to go first. Pick one. Okay. All right. And then let's make sure there's still two left. Yep. One, two. Victoria? All right, now, don't open it yet. Oh, okay. Don't open it yet. And then here's one. And just to make sure you can see. So it's all in there. So we're going to put this one back in here. Now, who wants to go first? Ethan wants to go first. Now, let's see what Ethan gets, okay? You didn't get Here we it. go. He opens it up, and <laughs> nothing. That's really nice of you to laugh That at means Ethan. I may have the okay. 20. Now, here's what we're going to do, Victoria. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. We know Ethan doesn't have it. Okay. So that means it's either in your hands or in this bag. So I'm okay. going to give you a chance. You can switch it out. <gasps> what would you like to do? Do you want to switch it out? I'll keep the one I have. All right, you're going to keep the one you have. I'm going to keep sure. the one I have. All right, so that means I picked the other one, and here's what you're going to do. Okay. You can tell me I can open it first or you can open it first. I'll open it first. All right, you open it first. I'll get mine ready just in case, and we'll see what happens. She's opening. Now, remember, you could have had this one. She opens up, and she has nothing. <laughs> now, so that means if I open mine up, I have oh, the twenty dollars. Now, kidding? guys, let me tell you why I played this game with you. You both were complaining about people not saying thank you, uh -huh. but I just gave both of you a dollar. That's a dollar more than you had when you got here, and you weren't thankful for it. Yeah, you were willing to risk that dollar to get more because you think, "Oh, this would be so much better." But you know what? We're all guilty of not saying thank you sometimes. There's a verse I want to read to y'all real quick. And it's from the book of 1 Thessalonians. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And I want you to listen to it and tell me what word you hear here. Be joyful always. Pray continuously. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. What word stood out? Give thanks. Give thanks when? 
in all circumstances. Now, guys, this is not easy because when things are going good, it's easy to be thankful. But when things go bad and somebody doesn't say thank you for a birthday meal or doesn't say thank you for going to the amusement park, it's difficult for even you to be thankful. Yeah. But you know what? Here's the thing. God wants us to be thankful in all circumstances. Yeah. And there's a story today I want to share with you guys. And a matter of fact, would y'all be willing to help me? Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Now, we've, we've done character things where you guys have played one character, even two characters. I think you even did three. But today, I want to do... 10. How does that sound? Woo! Oh, let's do Y'all it. Y'all ready to try it? All right, let's All go. Right, you guys come right over here. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of our way, and I want to share our story today. Now, our story today comes from the Bible, and it comes from the book of Luke. Now, Luke is in the New Testament, and this is a story that happened to Jesus. Now, Jesus was traveling one day when all of a sudden he saw 10 men. The first one. Hello, sir! The second one. Yo, yo, what's up? The third one. Hey, how you doing this morning? Hey. The fourth one. Top of the morning to ya. The fifth one. Hello. The sixth one. Good morning. The seventh. Good morning to ya, mate. Hey, how you doing? The eighth. Good morning. <laughs> the ninth. Hi! <laughs> and the tenth. Good morning to you. Now, here's the thing. These ten men were hollering at Jesus, and they're saying, Jesus, help us, help us. Well, Jesus didn't understand why until he got a little bit closer. The problem was all ten of these men had a problem, and it was the same problem. They had a disease called leprosy. Now, leprosy is a disease that affects your skin. And once you have leprosy, what happens is this. You can't get rid of it. And then the second problem is it's highly contagious. So the reason these 10 men were outside the city is because of this. They had to be moved outside the city, away from their friends, away from their family, and everybody they knew because they had leprosy. So they were hollering at Jesus as a distance saying, Help us, Jesus, help us. Well, Jesus did something really interesting. He didn't touch them. He didn't say, go, you're healed. He told them this, these simple words. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. Now, the reason that may sound strange to us is we don't understand. But back in those days, if you had leprosy, the only way you could go back home is you had to go and show yourself to the priest. And so as the men began to walk towards the city, an amazing thing happened. They looked down and their skin was immediately healed. Now you can imagine how excited they were. So the first one comes by and he says, Goodbye, sir. The second one. Goodbye. The third. Hey, yeah, uh, goodbye to you. Fourth. Goodbye. Fifth. Goodbye. Six. Goodbye, Captain. Seventh. Goodbye, mate. Eighth. Goodbye. Ninth. Goodbye. And the tenth. But the tenth did something a little bit different. He stopped. He turned around and he ran and fell at Jesus' feet. And he said these simple words, thank you. Well, when Jesus saw him, he looked at him and said, weren't there 10 people healed? Why are you the only one that came back? Now, here's what was special about this man. He was different from Jesus. Jesus was Jewish. The man that came back was a Samaritan. Now, the Jewish people and the Samaritan people didn't get along a lot of times. A lot of times, the Jewish people treated the Samaritans poorly. But this Samaritan had so much love in his heart that he knew he couldn't leave without saying those simple words of thank you. Now, when Jesus saw that, you know what he told him? He said, go, your faith has made you healed. Now, guys, here's why this is so important. God wants us to always remember to use those words and say thank you. And how many times do we forget to say thank you to our mom and dad, to our friends, to those around us? Remember the verse that I read earlier. It said, 
Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of Christ Jesus for you. And what that means is we need to be thankful when things are going well and when things aren't going so well. And the way that starts is by having a relationship with Jesus Christ. And you may say, Pastor Keith, how do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, it's it's simple. There's three things you have to do. The first thing you have to do is this. You have to admit that you have sinned. Now, that word sin means that you've messed up. You've done things you shouldn't have done. For instance, lying is a sin. Stealing is a sin. Disobeying your parents is a sin. Using words you're not supposed to use is a sin. All of those things are sins. And here's the thing. We can't get rid of our sin. There's nothing we can do to get rid of our sin. But the second thing is this. That's why God sent Jesus. God sent his only son, Jesus. And Jesus was the only person to walk on this earth who never sinned, not one time. Didn't disobey his parents, didn't lie, didn't steal. He did not sin. And because he didn't, what he did was he took our punishment when he died on the cross for us. So you have to believe the only way you can be forgiven of your sins is through Jesus Christ. And then the third thing is this. You have to make that choice. You have to choose to ask Jesus to come into your life. Now, some of you may be watching today and you say, Pastor Keith, I've already asked Jesus into my life. And you know what, guys? That's awesome. Because once Jesus is in your life, he's there forever. But there may be some of you watching today, you say, Pastor Keith, I've never asked Jesus into my life. And I would like to do that because I know I've sinned. I know I've messed up. And I want to ask Jesus into my life. Well, I want to give you that opportunity right now. So wherever you are, I want you to just bow your head, close your eyes, and I want you to pray this prayer with me. You can pray it out loud. You can pray it in your heart. It's up to you. Let's pray together. Dear God, I know that I have sinned and done things against you. Thank you, God for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. Today, I invite you, Jesus, to come into my life and to forgive my sins. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Amen. Well, guys, I've got some awesome news for you. If you prayed that prayer today, we want to celebrate with you. That is the best decision you could ever make. And I want to encourage you to do two things. Number one, tell your parents, tell your grandparents, tell whoever you're around. Because, guys, that's an eternal decision, a decision that lasts forever. And it's the best decision you could ever make. The second thing I want you to do is let us know. Let us know here at Cascade Hills so we can talk more about that decision with you. Now, I want to encourage you to stay tuned. We have a closing from one of our own Cascade kids that you're not going to want to miss. We'll see you next week. That was a great lesson. Thanks, Mr. Keith. I'm Peyton, and before we let you go, I'd like to share a couple of things with you. If you accepted Jesus into your heart today, Make sure you click the link below to let us know. How about it? We definitely want to celebrate this decision with you. We also have our weekly parent talk sheet for your parents to download. This is full of extra activities you can do as a family. You don't want to miss out. Also, we are still doing our welcome challenge. So if you'd like to be a part of what Sophia and I have done today, have your parents email your kids at cascadehills.com. You will be, so you can be entered into the drawing. Have a great weekend. We will see you soon.